Hey! What's happening, folks? Um, I'm about to blow your mind, uh, and you're not going to read about this anywhere else. Definitely not on YouTube. Um, you're lucky you've got a crazy mad scientist like me. Um, I grew up as a ham radio operator. Yeah, I know, it's really nerdy, right? Um, studying the electromagnetic uh, charts that I had, electromagnetic frequencies, and uh, experimenting with uh, superconductors, which are not actually superconductors. They're incredibly low magnetic permeability using uh, yttrium barium copper oxide disks and uh, neodymium iron boron magnets and uh, I'd actually go down to the local gas place and buy liquid nitrogen because you got to cool down those uh, ceramic yttrium barium copper oxide disks for the magnet to levitate but the way that uh, magnetic levitation works is uh, by cooling down uh, the uh, the ceramic disc, but you know that's a point for another discussion. Let's uh, let's understand some stuff, and I'm going to tell you why. Um, a couple of people brought this up about Sony cameras, and about you know, well, it's uh, it's a high megapixel camera. Now I know you think I'm going to be trashing Sony, but I'm not. This actually applies to all cameras, but Sony has it bad. And uh, people will say, uh, a couple of people just today mentioned, since I've been talking about ISO, and I'm about to talk about it a lot, not in this video, but the next ones, that why are, you know, my high megapixel Sony camera, which this isn't one, it's a Sony point-and-shoot, why does it have so much noise? I mean, is it relational to uh, ISO? Is it due to the sensor? Because it's a high megapixel camera. Well, I'm about to tell you why. You know the whole uh, story of uh, Sony's overheating in video, right? Yeah, well, they fixed a lot of that in firmware, right? Yeah, they did. Uh, but here's the issue. We're not talking about video now. We're talking about photography. Photography only. Let's just pretend that Sony has no video capabilities. Let's just talk about photography only. Let's first understand something really quick here. And it's something I learned at a young age. And most adults have no idea. If you think this microwave oven is any different from this camera, is any different from this uh, shortwave slash FM slash AM radio, then you, I'm gonna mean, I'm gonna say this in a nice way, and don't take it personal, then you are a crack smoking hippie. Because electromagnetic radiation is electromagnetic radiation is electromagnetic radiation is electromagnetic radiation. Light, and this microwave, and this radio, it's the same crap. Exact same crap. Now, I want to give you some links below, and uh, I used to mess around with telescopes a lot. I kind of grew up as like the mad scientist. I mean, what other teenager would have a liquid nitrogen dewer flask and uh, superconductor kits and, you know, ham radios, you know, all sorts of antenna leads, you know, pouring out of the window, bleeding to antennas? Who, who would have that? I mean, basically nobody. Radio is no different than this microwave, is no different from this camera. It's electromagnetic radiation, okay? doesn't matter if it's light, it's radio, it's ultraviolet, it's the, uh, the magnetron inside this, which is dumping out uh, electromagnetic... And you could say a microwave heats up stuff. Now I'm going I'm to give you the link below where you can actually see someone takes a Sony camera, it's a point and shoot, and he sticks it, and I've known this for ages, but this has like come to a surprise to people in camera world because they just don't have a damn clue about it. Pay attention, I'm going to blow your mind. He sticks the camera, takes a picture, some pictures, and then he sticks the camera in a Ziploc, I believe, and then sticks it in the freezer for 20 minutes or something. Whips it out, takes some more pictures, and, uh, oh my god, the noise is gone! Yay! The same reason the noise is gone is the same reason that all hardcore scientific equipment, like for astronomy, you can even buy them. They're uh, electrothermically cooled. Uh, the reason why uh, these uh, astro telescopes, uh, talking about Earth-based astro telescopes, of course the ones in space are already super chilled, um, have uh, cooling attached to them. Some of them are actually cooled down to the temperatures of liquid helium. But actual consumer-grade cameras with CCDs in them, CMOSs in them, are actually chilled is because it makes a difference between total crap images and awesome images. And here's the fact, not this Sony camera, but like the, uh, the Sony A7R2 and the Sony A7, is that there is a lot of damn crap in that camera packed really tightly with not so good shielding. 
And the shielding issues are actually, if you take a bunch of cameras apart like I have, you'll see they have flexi cables in them, which means that you get, you're able to pack a lot more crap into a smaller bag. And man, if you take apart a modern DSLR, or especially a Sony, I've seen a Sony take it apart, there is a lot of crap packed in there. And the way they're able to pack all that crap in there is they use these flexi cables, which are basically as thin as paper, and uh, they actually have the copper uh, uh, plating on them running around from one board to the other, and that board to the other board. When you take an image, uh, there is EMI and RFI, electromagnetic interference, radio frequency interference. Now you could say, for example, a microwave gets hot, but that is not what is heating up your food. The reason a microwave gets hot, like the food, is of course the electromagnetic radiation is attacking uh, the polarized atoms, specifically water, or water content in the food, and heating it up. You say, well, you can say the noise, like if a camera gets hot, then it's actually thermal heat. No, 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 that's the byproduct of. See, the, the magnetron of the microwave here is designed to be lossy. What do I mean by lossy? Lossy means like, well, I have an antenna farm in the backyard. When I set it up many, many years ago, one of my two meter antennas had a, a bad connection. And when I was broadcasting, even on five watts, when I broadcast on 15 watts, there's a neighbor who said, you know, I know your voice, but I heard your voice on my TV set. His TV set is a coaxial system. It's a closed circuit. But my antenna, since it had a break in the RG8 cable, was being lossy. That's actually what it's called. It's called being lossy. It means it's actually dumping out all this electromagnetic interference. The same thing is true if I were to actually take a bunch of continuous pictures on this camera, or say a Sony, and I were to actually broadcast with my cell phone, you know, talk on the cell phone while I'm taking it, you'll notice that the grain will increase. If anybody wants to experiment with this, be my guest and go ahead and do it. You'll notice that that will produce grainy images. Check the links below of the uh, picture samples from the guy that stuck his Sony in the refrigerator and you notice like, oh my god, there's all this grain, but he sticks it in the freezer and he takes the same picture and the grain is mostly gone. I mean, it's a serious, serious difference. Um, People don't understand that the difference between light and electromagnetic radiation uh, in a microwave, for example, and electromagnetic radiation uh, that uh, this radio receives is the same crap. There ain't no difference, baby. It is zero difference. It is the same damn stuff. And what happens is, is when you got a camera with a serious buffer and it's got a hundred pounds of crap, packed into a really, really, really tiny package, not this point and shoot, like a Sony A7R2, um, for example, not so much on a Nikon DSLR or a Canon DSLR because they have really good shielding. It's a much bigger camera that's able to accommodate better shielding. And everything is not jammed up against everything else. It's kind of like if you got a hundred people in a small room and someone farts, you know, everybody gets sick, ah, right? Proximity, is shielding issues. Um, the heat that was uh, an issue with video recording is also the same heat that's an issue with photography. Now, they actually had a firmware update to fix that. But the fact is that they use a lot of uh, flexi cables in a Sony A7R2, and you have to admit, this is undeniable hardcore fact, there, there is a ton of crap packed into a Sony A7, A7R2. So people that are actually telling me, I was gonna make this video, but I decided to move it up. People are telling me, I don't understand why the hell my Sony's got such a high megapixel count, and why the hell it's so grainy. I've been taking pictures and all of a sudden the pictures are really grainy. Heat, heat. It's not the thermal heat, it's the lossiness. Electromagnetic interference, radio frequency interference. Electromagnetic radiation, EMI, RFI. And EMR, electromagnetic radiation. Let's say, for example, you know, you've got uh, a camera you turn on, it's cold. And uh, people wonder why, people have actually asked me, it's like, why is it my pictures are less grainy when I'm out shooting on a cold night? Thermal, right? It is a case when cameras heat up, especially cameras that are really lossy, that's actually what it's called, being lossy. Okay, it sounds kind of a weird word, but to anybody that's into ham radio knows this term well, it's called being lossy. When you actually chill something, like they do in uh, high scientific uh, CMOS uh, cameras, or, uh, yeah, CMOS cameras, that, uh, that the image gets, oh my god, all the noise disappears. They're actually chilled. There are different ways to chill them. They chill them using liquid nitrogen, liquid uh, helium. Uh, they're uh, thermoelectrically chilled. There's actually consumer grade uh, CMOSes that you can buy. And they're, you know, yay big for use for uh, attaching to a big telescope. They're thermoelectrically chilled because 
that uh, the uh, the electromagnetic interference, the radio frequency interference, uh, drastically drops when you chill something. People could think, well, it's the thermal. You know, like when my if a Sony camera heats up, it's that thermal. The thermal heat does not cause the issue. The thermal, the thermal, the actual heat is the byproduct of it being lossy. Like when you're talking on your cell phone, it gets hot. The reason your cell phone gets hot is uh, not because you've been talking on it forever. It's because that every uh, cell phone has a broadband low gain antenna in it. Broadband low gain antenna. Okay. Um, so I know for a fact that Sony uh, has a lot more uh, heat and has issues. It's a scientific fact that uh, sensors which also have to be chilled at high, uh, at, uh, you know, have to be chilled to incredibly low uh, temperatures to have really good uh, heat sensitivity. You know, like I said, if your cell phones heat up when talking on them uh, due to efficiency, every cell phone contains a low gain antenna that's lossy. Like I said, you could say a microwave gets hot, but it's hot because it's designed to be lossy. I mean, that's the way a microwave heats your crap up really fast. It's designed to be lossy, and the only reason it doesn't fry your damn brain is because you can actually see the metal grating around here. The whole thing is encased in metal. It's lossy inside that Faraday cage. Duh. Um, so this is an issue that Sony has uh, with their, their cameras, and Sony is the worst on this. And it is also a fact that, well, my Sony is really small. You know, it does a lot of crap. You're, you're right, it does. And uh, when they packed 100 pounds of uh, poo in a, in a five pound bag, they created an issue, not with thermal heat, which is the byproduct, but the actual lossiness of all, all that signal product. Once the, the signal leaves the processor, it has to go through AD converters, it has to be buffered, it has to go through SNR firmware, and, then, and all that stuff. When you take pictures, there's a tremendous amount of signal generation going through all sorts of different gates. Why? I mean, it's like me listening to Enya or something, which I don't listen to Enya. I got my headphones on. This is like a sensor. Say, this is a closed system, okay? I've got my earphones over my ears. I'm listening to some cool music. And then the neighbor next door, if I'm really close to the wall, and my walls are kind of thin, my neighbor next door, next door is uh, ramping on his guitar, and all of a sudden I'm listening to my cool tunes. And this is the signal from the processor, okay? The processor could be perfect on your camera. Okay, the sensor on your camera. And then also, okay, I got good signal here. And the, the uh, guy next door goes, meh, 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 on his guitar, and you, you know, you can't hear the signal. The actual signal from the processor uh, inter, uh, is uh, affected by the electromagnetic radiation, the uh, radio frequency interference. People conflate that light is one thing and radio is another thing. And, uh, you know, this microwave is another thing, but it is all EMI, electromagnetic interference. If, and there is no perfect system, okay? It doesn't exist. Like some of the really expensive RG8 cable I've got feeding my, uh, my uh, the coax feeding my uh, two meter Yagi antenna in the backyard. It is very expensive per foot, but even it is lossy. It has a certain gain factor. It loses. It actually radiates. If I were to actually to go out there with a a a a, 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 a meter and check the uh, the spill from the actual cable, like right there on the cable, you'd actually see it. Right. I mean, I can step back, and that is an incredibly well shielded uh, RG8 cable. I could broadcast it like a half a watt and go out there. And broadcasting continuously with the mic, uh, with the mic uh, ping down, and you'll actually see the signal loss, the actual radio frequency interference, the electromagnetic radiation, and that is what is happening in uh, every camera. Okay, people think I'm single signaling, uh, uh, you know, pointing out Sony or singling out Sony. I'm not. They're just the very, 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 very worst of all of them. The far, far the worst. And you cannot deny that there is 10 pounds of poo crammed into a 5 pound bag when it comes to Sony a7R2. People have told me, they said, why the hell is my Sony, I love the thing to death, my Sony a7, a7R2, why the hell has it got so much noise? It's an incredibly high megapixel camera. EMI, RFI, EMR, electromagnetic radiation, radio frequency interference, is not the thermal heat. I mean, it, you can chill something down and then something will become less lossy. This is the reason why astro sensors, you know, like I said, are chilled. 
they actually pick up a visible light in telescopes because the all you've done is defeat the signal uh, when it comes to radio I mean not radio astronomy um, from optical astronomy if you don't chill the sensor this is a hardcore fact the same reason that these sensors uh, same sensors that are in every DSLR are chilled is because it drops the noise in radio astronomy, I mean, I keep saying radio astronomy, in uh, optical astronomy, the notion that you would pack all that crap into a tiny little package where there's all this processing noise, you know, blasting at the, that spillover causes noise. It's an irrefutable, undeniable, hardcore fact. Nobody on YouTube is talking about this. I've got one link for you below where the guy sticks his camera in the uh, freezer or refrigerator. And you show, you see the picture about how much, it's a Sony point and shoot, but the same thing really applies. If you want to Ziploc bag your Sony A7R2 and stick it in the freezer, which I doubt anybody will, you will confirm this. You will confirm it. Okay? You will confirm it. If you want to turn on your camera and uh, take some shots while you're broadcasting on your cell phone really close to your camera, which most people probably won't want to do, you will confirm that as well. Because the noise that comes from your, uh, your uh, cell phone antenna is the same at a much higher rate. It's designed to be lossy. It's broadcasting out to uh, cell phone receivers, uh, transceiver uh, antennas. is the same sort of noise issues that are occurring inside of your Sony camera. Every camera, you know, a Nikon DSLR, the Sony's got a serious issue. Because Sony's got 10 pounds of poo in a 5 pound bag. That is undeniable and that is irrefutable. So, um, you know, you got leaky antennas, uh, you know, uh, um, you got all of this stuff jammed inside of a, a DSLR. The important thing is that people don't get is that this processing noise, they think, well, all this crap that occurs after the light's been gathered is something different. But if you don't understand this, you don't understand anything, and you're just smoking crack. And that fact is, is that light... And this microwave and this radio is the same crap. Okay? It's electromagnetic radiation. Technically, it's a coaxial circuit, transverse electrical magnetic longitudinal dielectric. But all that noise, the processing noise that occurs and uh, causes uh, lossy images, and people are like, why is my high megapixel sensor so noisy? You know, I don't understand it. My lens is good, my sensor is good, it's a high megapixel sensor. Um, is it because of heat? No, the heat is the byproduct of the uh, signal loss. It doesn't matter how good the shielding is, um, there's still an issue. And when you jam all that crap into a little bitty tiny box, that is what is causing the noise on your signal. I mean, your uh, actual images that are uh, processed and saved. Because all that processing stuff is just going Wah! out to the actual EMR. You're trying to separate out two different things that are electromagnetic uh, radiation. The actual information that is gathered and all this noise that is going on literally millimeters behind the camera sensor. I mean, that is just like, you know, me leaning up against the wall with my headphones on. I'm trying to gather a signal from my processor, in this case my headphones, listen to some music, and the neighbor next door is going -na 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 on his guitar. Interference, electromagnetic interference, radio frequency interference, it's undeniable, it is irrefutable. Now that you understand that, I hope I cleared that up for you. If you like this video, you can drop me a buck or two. Go tell me to jump off a cliff. But you can't call me wrong, because I'm not wrong. I'm 100% correct. Thanks for watching. Bye.